Let's get straight to the point. Number eight, the cerebral power wash. You probably assume that when you drift off to sleep, your body just shuts down like a laptop closing its lid. Cute thought, but completely wrong. The second you lose consciousness, your brain initiates a full-scale industrial cleaning operation that is honestly kind of disturbing. It's called the glymphatic system. Yeah, fancy word. And here is what happens. Your brain cells literally shrink in size by about 60%. Seriously, they shrivel up. Why? To create space so that your skull can be flooded with cerebrospinal fluid. This clear, salty goo rushes through your brain tissue like a high-pressure hose, washing away toxic waste proteins called beta amyloids that build up while you're awake. Think of it as taking out the trash, but the trash is inside your head and the garbage truck is a wave of spinal fluid. If you don't sleep, this brain sewage stays put, clogging up your neurons. So when you wake up feeling groggy, it's basically because your brain didn't finish its laundry cycle. You are walking around with a head full of dirty biological waste, which explains why you can't remember where you put your keys. Gross, right? Number seven, the chemical straitjacket. Let's talk about the fact that every night your body puts you in a chemical straitjacket. It's called REM atonia, and it is the only reason you haven't accidentally walked out a window while dreaming about flying. When you hit deep sleep, your brainstem sends a signal to your spinal cord that effectively severs the connection to your voluntary muscles. You are paralyzed, stone cold stuck. Why? Because if you weren't, you would physically act out every bizarre scenario your subconscious cooks up. If you dream you're a ninja, you would be karate chopping your bedside lamp. But here is the fun part. Sometimes the system glitches. The off switch gets stuck. You wake up mentally, but your body is still under the influence of the paralytic chemicals. This is sleep paralysis. Your eyes are open. You are fully conscious, but you cannot twitch a single muscle. Your panic brain trying to make sense of why you are frozen often hallucinates a shadow figure sitting on your chest. So thanks, evolution. You either stay paralyzed and safe, or you wake up to a personal horror movie. Number six, the reptilian malt. Let's address the fact that every night, you effectively transform into a molting reptile. While your conscious mind is off in la-la land, your epidermis enters a hyperactive regeneration phase to repair the damage from the day. Cell mitosis peaks around midnight, meaning your body is frantically pushing off old dead cells to make room for fresh ones. You shed roughly 30,000 to 40,000 skin cells every single minute. Do the math. Over an eight-hour snooze, you dump nearly two million flakes of dead flesh directly into your sheets. You are literally marinating in a microscopic pile of your own decay. But wait, it gets worse. You aren't just shedding, you are feeding the troops. Your mattress is home to millions of dust mites, tiny eight-legged relatives of spiders that think your dead skin is a five-star meal. These invisible scavengers graze on the biological snowdrift you leave behind on your pillow. If your mattress feels heavier than when you bought it, that isn't humidity. That is a decade's worth of accumulated dead skin and mite excrement packed inside the fabric. You think you sleep alone, but you are actually the host of a nightly all-you-can-eat buffet, and your face is the main course. Number 5. The Unconscious Gas Chamber Let's discuss a reality your significant other knows all too well, but you blissfully ignore. You are a nocturnal gas factory. During the day, you possess a wonderful thing called voluntary muscle control. You feel a bubble of trouble, you clench, and you wait. But when you hit deep sleep, that guard comes down. Specifically, the internal anal sphincter, the gatekeeper of your dignity, relaxes. It doesn't let go completely, but it loosens enough to let pressurized gas escape without resistance. Most people pass gas far more frequently while asleep because gravity isn't fighting the bubbles. But here is the wild part. You never wake yourself up with the smell. Why? Because your sense of smell effectively deactivates during REM sleep. Your brain decides processing odors isn't a priority. This means you can lie there, creating a methane cloud under the duvet, totally oblivious. 
You are safe from the stench, but anyone sharing the bed is trapped in a Dutch oven of your making. It is a biological necessity to prevent bloating, sure. But let's be honest, it is also a nightly betrayal of trust. Number four, the personal sauna. You might think you sleep dry, especially if you blast the AC, but your body has other plans. Every night you are secretly leaking. It is called nocturnal perspiration, and it is your body's desperate attempt to not overheat and cook your internal organs. While you dream, your core body temperature naturally drops to its lowest point to conserve energy. To make that happen, your body has to dump heat, and it does that by pumping out sweat. On an average night, you excrete about a cup of liquid. That might not sound like much, but over a year, you are sweating out nearly 25 gallons of salty water directly into your bedding. That is essentially a bathtub full of sweat every single year, absorbed right into the fabric of your mattress. Remember those dust mites we talked about? They don't just eat your skin, they drink your sweat. It creates a humid fungal paradise deep inside your bed. So when you wake up and your pillow feels cool, just remember, it is not fresh air making it cold, it's dampness. You are fermenting in your own juices to ensure your liver doesn't overheat. It's a vital survival mechanism, sure, but it means your bed is basically a giant used sponge. Number three, the BioLube spill. Let's talk about the slime puddle. You know the one. You wake up, lift your head, and there is a cold, wet patch on the pillowcase that connects to the corner of your mouth by a single shimmering string of saliva. Gross. But congratulations, your body's working correctly. This is actually a safety feature. When you are awake, you swallow constantly to manage saliva production. But in deep sleep, your swallowing reflex relaxes, just like the rest of your muscles. If you sleep on your side, gravity takes over and the spit pools out instead of going down. Why do we make so much slime? It protects you. That saliva is loaded with antibodies and enzymes that fight off bacteria trying to colonize your gums while you aren't brushing. It also keeps your throat tissues moist so they don't dry out and crack, which would make you susceptible to infection. Basically, your mouth is a petri dish and the drool is the sanitizer. If you stop producing it, your teeth would rot faster and your breath would smell like a crypt. So that embarrassing wet spot isn't just gross, it is evidence that your immune system is holding the line against mouth rot. It is not dignified, but survival rarely is. Number two, the midnight snot cocktail. You probably think your nose takes a break when you close your eyes, but unfortunately, the mucus factory never shuts down. In fact, it ramps up. Your nasal passages are lined with millions of microscopic hairs called cilia. These little guys work like a synchronized rowing team, beating in waves to push mucus towards the back of your throat. This sticky slime is essentially biological flypaper designed to trap dust, pollen, and bacteria before they can infect your lungs. Here is the stomach-turning part. You swallow roughly one quart of nasal mucus every 24 hours. A huge portion of that snot cocktail is consumed while you sleep. Because you are horizontal, gravity helps the sludge slide down your throat, a process called post-nasal drip. You don't even notice it. Your body treats your stomach like a waste incinerator, dumping the infected slime into acid to kill the germs. While you dream of pizza, your body is force-feeding you a liter of your own filtered waste. It is gross, but without it, you'd have a respiratory infection in days. Number one, the eye trash compactor. Finally, let's talk about the very first thing you pick off your face in the morning, that crunchy grit in the corner of your eye. You might call it sleep sand, but scientists call it room, and it is essentially eye garbage. During the day, you blink constantly to wash away dust, exfoliated cells, and mucus. But when you sleep, the blinking stops. The cleaning crew goes on strike. Your body has to push all that debris to the tear ducts, where it accumulates and dries out, because your body heat evaporates the liquid. 
what you are picking out is a hardened cocktail of blood cells, skin, oil, and bacteria. It is literally a waste brick. If this didn't happen, that grit would float around your cornea, scratching your eyes while they dart around during dreams. So, waking up crusty is actually a sign of a successful filtration process. You are basically a self-cleaning oven, and that grit is the ash. You survived another night of sweating, shedding, and leaking fluids just to stay alive. It isn't pretty, but it beats the alternative. Now, go wash your face. You look terrible. And while you're at it, hit the subscribe button. It's cleaner than your pillowcase. If you enjoyed learning exactly how gross you are, do me a favor. Hit the like button. It costs you nothing and helps the channel more than you think. Share this video with someone who definitely drools in their sleep and make sure to subscribe to Coolest Dude Explains. We've got plenty more disturbing facts to keep you awake at night. Catch you in the next one.